Hey everyone, I have a problem here that I was trying to solve the other day with a colleague of mine. And I know a lot of people I've uh, dealt with have had to actually do the same problem and they've struggled a lot of the times. So let me show you what I'm trying to do. I have, let's say, uh, some sort of progression over time. So let's say I've got, you know, years and months here and I've got some sort of value like so. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of 2016 just to make the view a bit better. Okay, so this is basically our, our data set. And let's say for the example, these values represent um, making toys for Santa every year. So let's say I'm a production elf, right? I'm on the shop, uh, I'm on the production floor and I'm producing these toys, right? And I have to see that we're meeting our targets. So let's say in 2017, there were a total of, what's this total of? 790. So let's say there were... Um, a million kids right in 2017 that I had to make toys for given this value how close am I as a percentage are we 80% there are we 90% where are we right so how would you calculate that you wouldn't be able to if I just duplicate this you wouldn't be able to just do a percent of total right because that doesn't really show the progression over time that really just shows how much of this is a percentage out of the group right in this particular example i'm using the total but let's say we go pain right it just says this value represents four percent out of the total but it doesn't really give me as a progression or as a running total so let me show you how to do that okay let's start with this value the first thing we need to do is a running total right because you want to add everything you've done previously because it's a year end total so let's duplicate this and the way I like to do it is every time I do a calculation or a modification I build a new um, pill or a new you know I duplicate this for the next one so I can kind of see how the data is changing as I apply each new function so if I go in here quick table running total all right so I can see it's climbing but we don't want to apply it as like for the whole set we want it each year because we have a different target each year let's say so I'm gonna go in here <clears throat> compute using and we're gonna go pain and if you're still kind of confused what the difference is table refers to the whole thing right pain refers to each kind of segment right so it'll apply it in its own group so let me show you how it changes if I duplicate this again and we go compute using pain so pain down means it's going this way right you can see that as soon as it reaches the next year it starts again right as opposed to this one so 65 65 it matches right so we're not interested in this middle one we're interested on this one and there's actually another exam uh, there's another reason why it's good to do it this way because once you start doing your formulas you can actually just grab this directly and it has all the um, formulas and everything you've applied to it already on it okay the next thing we have to do to get a percentage is set a target so the easiest way to do that and I've actually built one here, but I'm going to do it again. Let's call it target two, right? Um, for the moment, I'm going to make it one target all the way through, just to keep it simple. So let's go 1.1 million, right? One, one, zero, zero, one, two, three. Okay, there we go. And then again, I want to see this. So I'm going to bring target two in here. So I should see 1.3 million all the way down, but I won't right so why do I get all crazy values and this this kind of confuses people and the reason is because of this right the sum what the sum does is it the way it applies to the table depends on kind of how you've grouped it so without getting into too much detail all you have to do is switch this to attribute all right so now it's 1.1 million all the way across great now what we need to do is take this value and divide it by this value Okay, so what we can do is we can either do it in the shelf or we can do a formula. And I'll show you kind of a few things you can do, which are pretty cool. So I, what I do is I take this one, I hold control, I duplicate it, all right? So we can see it's duplicated. Then I take this value by double clicking, or you can right click, go edit in shelf. And I take it directly because I know what the output of it is. I double click this one because it's now got the running sum and oops, uh, uh, no, no. And everything I've applied to it and I can just go divided by paste right control V enter and I have my percentages great sometimes people don't like it in the shelf and I actually don't like it purely in the shelf I like to have it as a function because then if I'm using it for something else it's available so what you can do is you can copy it 
go create calculated field, paste it in, and now it's a usable value. That's one method. Or you can do this technique, which is if you grab something that you've basically written, so it's like a custom formula, you can grab it, hold control, and drop it in here, right? And what that will do is it'll actually paste it as a formula ready for use. So we can call this um, percentage value progress or something like that. And when I press enter, right, you'll notice that this one up here has also changed. It's now referring to this one, right? So it, it's, it's a lot neater. It's a lot cleaner. All right. So that's one thing. So great. We have our percentages. We're going to just put uh, a value here. So let's drop this into label and I'm going to format this to be a percentage. I think it's this one. No, it's not this one. It's is it access? I can never remember. Percentage. There we go. So now we have percentage on the right. Great. We can say, hey, Santa, you know, we hit 72, 79, and 112. So we actually met target here. Great. Okay. All right. Um, the next thing I want to introduce, and the problem I actually had to deal with, is every year your target's not the same. Sometimes it's lower, sometimes it's higher. So how do you apply some sort of control so that it's not the same all the way through. Well, we go into target two, and we go edit. And what we're going to use is a case function. So I'm going to show you case and if, because I know a lot of people prefer the if function as opposed to the case. So let's start with if, and then I'll show you what it looks like as a case. So if I go if the year, right, is equal to a certain year, I want a certain target. Some people do this, uh, year of order date, right? is equal to 2016, let's say. Um, you can type it out, but the problem is sometimes this has all sorts of things done to it, or it may not be year, it could be weekday, could be month, and it can be a bit confusing as to what to type in here, right? So a little trick you can do is if you're filtering on, let's say this one, right? You can grab this directly and bring it in here. That way you're guaranteed that whatever this is whatever you can see is the same th you're referring to the same thing in the formula so i can hold control i think you don't even have to hold control yeah you don't even have to hold control so you can see look it's actually done some different kind of way to represent the data right so we're going to go uh 20 uh 17 right if it's equal to that then whatever the value is so let's say set the first one for 750,000 Right? And then what I like to do is instead of if and then doing it all again, I like to press enter, hold shift, and press up on the keyboard. All right, So it's a little trick. So when I get to the end, um, press right or press enter right, to get to the next line. Hold shift, press up on the keyboard, and then control C to copy, and then paste, 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 paste. Right? And that lets me do this stuff uh, pretty quickly. Okay, So we only need three years. So we're going to change this to now 2018, 2019, and we'll set some targets. Let's say this one is 900,000, and then the last one is 1.2 million. So 1, 2, is that 1.2 million? Yep. Okay. Then we also have to add here at the beginning else, right? So if it's equal to this, then do this else. If it's equal to this, then do this else, If it's right? And then at the end, you go else, no. So if it's any other year, just leave it blank for now. Um, and then we've got to close it off, so end. All right. Now, why did that crash? Uh, expected end. I think I have to do... Is it that one? Nope. To match if. All right. So <laughs> I was wondering why I had an error. Um, this apparently can't be null, which is weird. So I can just set this to zero for the moment. Or we'll set it to... Yeah, we'll set it to zero. That's fine. We go OK. All right. So that's how you do an if um, function, right? If you were to do it as a case, which I actually prefer a lot of times, right, is you do the same thing, case, and you have to set some sort of um, value that's going to be checked. In this case, it's date. Then you go when that is equal to 2017, then what do we have? 750, one, two, three. And then we copy this three times. We go 2018, 2019. We'll switch this to 900,000. We'll switch this to, right? And then we go else zero end. Okay, so if I get rid of this, this should hopefully work. 
and I don't get embarrassed again. All right, so that's that's the other way to do it using a case function. So go OK. And what you'll see is that these values have now changed, right? So you can see it's different per year. And therefore, because those have changed, these percentages have also now changed, okay? One last thing we can do, and this is something that um, my managers wanted to see, is we want to know when we've actually hit 100%, right? So what we can do is we can get rid of the color on everything, okay? We can leave that. And I want to use some sort of check here with a parameter. Oh, actually, I don't need a parameter because it's already at 1%. So I can simply go create calculated field. Um, we can say completion, let's call it, question mark. Did I spell that right? Completion. And I can take this value, right? And when I say it's greater than or equal to 100% or simply 1, right, we can go OK drop this into color, and we can see exactly when we've met the target. So for false, we can say, maybe not red, we can say we're still working on it, and then switch that to green. All right, so here we reached it in December. All right, so that's the problem I had to deal with. And then once you can kind of see all this formulation, what I do is I duplicate this, so I can still have this as a check if I do any further modifications, and I simply get rid of these three. And straight away, I can, and now I can just modify this however I want, line charts, whatever you want to do. All right, and that's it. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.